In this video, we're going to talk about very simple form of, of implicit function theorem. Okay. Um, suppose, see, you have already seen this kind of function, y is equal to f, which is the function of x1, x2, and so on to xn. This is the function which you have seen in which you have uh, expressed y explicitly in terms of x1 through xn. Now taking partial derivatives is simple in this case, okay? Uh, but supposedly in case of the function is defined implicitly, this is the function which is the function of y and it is also the function of x1, x2 and so on to xn. This is an implicit function, okay? You cannot take explicitly y or x out from this function. So how do you partially differentiate this? Okay, uh, well, you can write this function, let me name this as star, you can write this star equation also as z is equal to f of y, x1, x2, and so on to xn. This z is basically zero. This is always zero. Okay, so you have an equation which is f, which is a function of y, x1, x2, and so on to xn is equal to zero. This is the function, this is the equation which you have. Let me just get away from this. Okay, this is equal to zero. This is the function which you have. Now, in case if you want to take up the partial derivative here in this case, how will it, uh, first of all, in, you need to find the total derivative is dz is equal to fy dy plus fx1 dx1 plus fx2 dx2 and so on to fxn dxn. Now dz is equal to zero, this because z is always equal to zero. So this this has become zero is equal to all this. Okay. So zero is equal to all this. Now if you need to find out the change in y due to the change in x1, you'll put all other dxi is equal to zero. Okay, supposedly if you want to find out the change in y due to the change in x1. So you'll put all of these dx2, dxn and all of them equal to 0. So what is left with you is 0 is equal to fy dy plus fx1 dx1 is equal to 0. How can you write this? You can write this as fy dy is equal to minus fx1 dx1 or you can write this as dy by dx is equal to minus fx1 by fy which is minus of del f by del x1 upon del f by del y. You getting the point from where this is coming out? So supposedly if you have the function y to the power four y to the power four minus three y cube x square plus six y square x plus four y minus forty is equal to zero. Now as you could see, this is the function of the form f y x is equal to zero. You can't explicitly find out y and in terms of x. You cannot put y as an explicit function of x. So you, you can't write this as y is equal to fx function. So you'll have to use an implicit function here. But you know this from the above derivation that dy by dx in this case is basically minus of fx upon fy which is minus of del f by del x upon del f by del y. 
what is del f by del x? It is basically minus 2x 3y cube plus 1 into 6y square. Okay, you, you're keeping only x as variable and everything else as constant. So what, what do you get as minus 6y cube x plus 6y square. What is del f by del y? It is basically 3y cube minus 3x square 3y square plus 12yx plus 4. Simplifying it, you will get 3y cube minus 9x square y square plus 12xy plus 4. So you need to write what is dy, not dy, uh, del y, dy by dx is minus of fx upon fy, which is equal to what is f minus of minus 6y cube x plus 6y square upon 3y cube minus 9x square y square plus 12xy plus 4. Got this? So this is dy by dx in this case. Okay. Let me do. Let me let me just do one more uh, example with you. Well, this is a macroeconomic model, which is y equals to c plus i plus g. C equals to c, which is a function of say y and t t which is a function of see it is dy i is the function of rate of interest t is taxes so taxes are of course dependent upon income consumption is dependent upon income and taxes and this is the identity y is equal to c plus i plus g well you need to find out what is dy by dr you need to find out how income would change in case if rate of interest will change. Well, in case if you look at this identity, you have y equals to c plus i plus g. So you can write this as c y t. In place of i, you can write this as i r. And in place of g, it is just g. Okay. t again could be written as t y plus i r plus g got this so what is so in case in case if i want to find out what is dy just from the first equation what will you get is dc plus di plus dg what is dc from second equation it is cy dy plus ct dt okay this is just the function of the form say y is equal to or z is equal to fxy so how do you write this this is cy is a partial derivative of c with respect to y ct is partial derivative of c with respect to t dt is ct dt and di is ir dr. What is ir? Del i by del r into dr. Okay. So this is the function which you have. Now, if you want to put it like this, okay, you just substitute all of them here. So it is dy in place of 
Now, just, just see this function. So it is dy equals to, in place of dc, what will you write? This cy dy plus ct dt. In place of di, what will you write? ir dr. In place of dg, what will you write? Just dg. Now, you have also find out found out dt so it is d dt is basically so sorry dt is here it is c y dy i'm so sorry just see dt is equal to c y dy t y dy not c y it is t y dy i'm so sorry dt is in this case is t y dy yeah so it is c t and in dt's place you will write T y d y plus i r d r plus d g. So you can write this as C y d y plus C t t y d y plus i r d r plus d g. So you can take these terms here, which will become d y minus cy dy minus ct ty dy equals to ir dr plus dg so this becomes 1 minus cy minus ct ty into dy is equal to ir dr plus dg. Now you need to find out how y is going to change when r is going to change. So you will put dg equal to 0. Okay. So what is left out is 1 minus cy minus ct ty dy equals to ir dr. So you can write dy by dr as ir upon 1 minus cy minus ct ty okay 